Well, good morning. I, I did manage to get uh, to get my last what sold video up for uh, for the end of March. There, I got it. I did get it done last night. Get it uploaded. So I thought today I'd get another one started. I, I got up early this morning and and I sat around and talked to my wife for a while. And we had a guy come to give us an estimate on the on the on the roof here and um, give me I, I, give me a few ideas about some things too. So that was good. And then. Uh, after my wife left left to go go uh, do some of her cleaning jobs, I went up to the neighbor's house and and cut her lawn for her. So and her field. So that took me a couple hours, and and now I'm back. And now I'm going to do this video for the first week of what sold for the first week of April 2017. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. And the first thing that sold was, let's see, three of these. And there was three of these uh, underground lighting cables. I got all these at, at Walmart on clearance. I paid three bucks a piece for them. And uh, I still got some grass in my eye from cutting grass. Anyway, yeah, so I listed these January 31st sold the sold these on April 1st and I got $60. Uh there is free shipping though, so in shipping is a little rough on them. They're pretty heavy. I think I used a pretty sure I used a large a large flat rate box for these. I rarely use those, but I think I needed to use one for this. So All right, next and Outlander, Diana Gabaldon, I think that's how you say her name. Written in my own heart's blood. Uh, this book, let's see, yeah. Dollar twenty nine I paid for it, so I got it at Goodwill. I paid a dollar twenty nine for it. I listed it on March twenty second, sold it April first, I got eight dollars and eighty eight cents plus shipping. Next. Oh, oh, that one didn't go where it was supposed to go. This is just a lot of three children's books that we had sitting around forever and ever and ever. And I listed them uh, October 25th last year and sold them April 2nd. I got 10 bucks free shipping. They're just little, the little thin little ones. So they cost me 263 or something like that to ship. So, all right, next. And these are little, they're just little, I don't know if you can see it, they're little bars of soap, I guess, you know, something, you know, actually a little smaller than the ones, you know, that you would see from hotels or something. So these, uh, I ran these at auction. I got them at the $5 bag sale at Niche, so they, they really didn't cost me, like, much of anything, like, really, like, you know, 35 cents for, for all of them or something like that. So, uh. I listed them March 24th, and I ran them at auction. So they, and they sold on April 2nd, and I only got I got five bucks for them plus shipping. So, but you never know. You know, somebody else could have hit it, and it might have been a couple people going at it. And so anyway, next they're just little buckthorn facial soap, whatever buckthorn is. Next vintage. Presto heavy duty cast aluminum. Does anybody know if having the word vintage in there actually helps or not? Does anybody actually search for that keyword or not? Because everybody has vintage everything in it, so I don't know if it actually means anything. So, anyway, it's just a little cheese slicer. And I paid 35 cents, so I got it at the niche. Or, no, yeah. I got the niche and I listed it on March 31st, sold it April 2nd, and I got $13 plus shipping for that little cheese slicer. You just never know. You just never know. Okay, next. And this is a lot of uh, videotapes, VHS tapes from the that yard sale that uh, I went to last summer. Paid two bucks for all of them. I listed them on 
And I listed them on March 15th and sold them on April 2nd. And I took $9 for them, but the guy never paid. And then he canceled and changed his mind. So I relisted them. Next. And it's uh, it's a Revere Wear pan. I paid 80, 80, 89 cent, or 80 cents for it. I listed it February 11th, sold it April 3rd, and I got twelve ninety five. dollars Must have been the big one. Must have been the big one for twelve ninety five. dollars So, all right, next. And that was plus shipping. Next. Blockade Runner. This is a, an old, oh, I got a payment for something. I didn't hear any cha-ching go off. Did you hear a cha-ching? I didn't hear any cha-chings. I don't know what it's for. It doesn't say. Maybe it might have been Bonanza or something. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So it's just an old uh, Intellivision game. Didn't fit in it in, in the Atari. So it, it, it predates those. And let's see. I got this in a... A, a box of, of these that I bought at uh, the Art Sale Shack. And I paid... What did I pay for it? Basically 15 cents I paid for this one. So, And I listed it January 8th, sold it April 3rd, and I got $8. Free shipping. So, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a killer sale or anything on that one, but hey, what the heck is that? I don't know. It's a payment for something. Okay, next. I'll find out later. Uh, Greenworks Rechargeable Battery Pack. I bought a bunch of these at Walmart. Oh, goodness. You wouldn't know I slept last night. Well, not a lot. I didn't actually sleep a lot. Um, I paid $20. I bought a bunch of these. There was four or five of them. I, I bought them all. There's five of them. They're all sold now. But... Uh, let's yeah. So I listed it January 29th, sold it April 3rd. And I got five, 45 hours plus shipping. So I took me, you know, I had to sit on these a little bit because when I listed them, they were going for that price and and more. But uh, I think people were coming in and, and selling them real cheap because you know stuff at Walmart goes on clearance, and if other WalMarts has it, it goes on clearance too. Probably I would assume. And so there was just a bunch of them. There was a bunch of them that kind of flooded it for a little bit. And so probably they were just undercut. And then and once they all ran out, then I sold mine. So it's a couple months. Next. Victoria's Secret Thigh-Eye Stockings. These, um, I got at the niche in the $5 bag sale. It's one of those things I just shoved. I just grabbed them all and threw them in there. And my wife listed this, so we got, uh, no, that's not right. Yeah, that's not right. I don't know why I put that price on her. <laughs> okay, yeah. It, uh, they cost like, you know, 10 cents or whatever because they're in a bag sale. So, listed them on March 28th, sold April 3rd, and I got $6. I only got $6 plus shipping for them. So, hey, it's something. Next. Call of Duty. I bought these. I bought. I bought these. Oh, I might have. I think I. Sh I showed the haul for when I bought these. Um, I paid a hundred bucks for. I think it was twenty of them. Twenty five of them. Something like I forget exactly how many it was. But so basically, it worked out to four dollars a piece. So. Is some one of them missing? I think one of them's missing. What's this? What's next? Yeah, one of them's missing. One of them's not in here. That's because I sold it. Okay, yeah, that's why. All right, I sold these. I I did get thirty dollars for these, but of course they cost me twelve bucks. But I got thirty bucks plus shipping, so uh, I was happy with that. This was the second lot that sold, and I actually sold. There was another one that was a, a Zelda Phantom Phantom Hourglass. And I sold that one on, uh, for I got it for $19, but it sold on Bonanza, so I don't have a picture here of it. So I got $19 for that one. I get things a little bit cheaper on Bonanza than on eBay because the fees are cheaper. So I can offer things a little bit cheaper um, 
for the customers. So, you know, you might want to think about that, eBay. Okay. Next. And uh, this was either uh, two listings here. Somebody bought two of the same things. They were replacement parts. I, I got this castle for like, it was like five bucks or something like that. I got it like five bucks for the whole castle, all, all the parts, and I sold. Somebody bought, this one was, I think it was for some of these little wall pieces, I think is what they bought. And they bought, but they bought two groups of them, so they paid uh, eighteen dollars for for them. Listen, I've had this listed for a long time though. I've had this listed since March of I think it was last year, two thousand sixteen, and then I sold them April fourth, and I got the eighteen bucks for them. So and it's just for a couple of wall parts, so. It wasn't it wasn't a big deal. So and I've I've sold I sold the gate out of this and I sold something else I think. I sold this main gate part that you see in that center picture at the top. Let's see. I've sold this this piece so far. Yep, that. And oh, my wife is acting fluky. All right, I'm just going yeah, and I sold these and a couple of, and another couple of pieces. So that's what's sold so far. So, all right, next, uh, I bought these to put up to put them on Amazon. I got them at Walmart, uh, clearanced out, and then I couldn't put them on Amazon, so I ended up putting them on eBay. And I short after shortly after I got them, I kind of quit doing Amazon anyway. So, um. I paid two fifty a piece for them, which was too much, and I should have known that, but I didn't. So, I I listed them on February thirteenth, sold them on April fifth. I got twelve bucks plus shipping. So, I didn't want to passion to pay two fifty for them because I had to hold them for a while. And... But there was only two, and they're gone now, so it's good. Next. And this is cool. This went, I think this went overseas. So I think this went to Canada or some. Not over. Uh, that's not overseas. Not for me. But it it did go through uh, the global shipping service or whatever that is, shipping program. And uh, I paid two bucks for it. I listed it October thirteenth last year. Sold it April fifth, and I got fifteen dollars plus shipping. So and the shipping was pretty rough because of the the international shipping I would I would assume the shipping was pretty rough but yeah so I you never know I guess people I mean you never know they broke one and they really liked it or whatever and here you go I was the only one that had it at the time uh, Isaac Asimov's fantastic voyage paid 10 cents for this at the niche listed it January 9th sold it it was in the bag sale that's why it was 10 cents uh, January 9th, sold it April 5th. I got $15 free shipping for this book. Next. And Awards Master Planer. I got this at Goodwill. And I paid... Oh, it's not up here. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. I paid two fifty for it. Uh, and listed January 5th, sold it April April 5th, and I got $13 plus shipping on it. I, I ran it through multiple auctions multiple times till it finally got a bid, but I brought, I had to keep bringing the price down a little bit. So it is what it is. I mean, it, it just, uh, I was surprised it didn't go higher, but it didn't. So what's that? Nope. Poshmark. Next, and it's just another one of those kids' watches that I paid a buck for. Listed them. Um, when did I list them? I listed them June twenty eighth last year. Sold this one on April fifth. Six bucks plus shipping. Batman. Lay in lows. Uh, you've probably seen these before. I got these for like a nickel a piece. Let's see. Uh, so I sold. 
I sold 50 of them. There was 10 packages. And the guy bought five, five lots of, of, and they were, so, uh, they were, I think they were running on sale at the time. Maybe not. Or I might have taken an offer. Anyway, they, uh, I listed these July 19th last summer and sold them April 7th and I got $140 free shipping for these and I paid a nickel a piece. So I paid, I paid $2.50 for them. What you gonna do? Next. And then I bought them at Lowe's. I got them at Lowe's on clearance. And another one of these batteries, same deal, I paid 20 bucks. And I got 45 plus shipping. Next. Pan Am. It's just like a key fob. Like a, it goes on a keychain and it's got a little, here. It's a little zipper compartment there. You can put stuff in there. I don't know what you put in there, but anyway, so uh, I listed it for 99 cents. I got it. Let's see. Uh, I paid 35 cents for it. I got it actually at Goodwill. It was clearanced. So it was, it was half. No, it was clearance. Yeah, it was clearance. So I just picked it up because it was 35 cents. I listed it March 31st, sold it April 7th, and it got 10 bids. And it got, so it went for 850. So I, I was, I was pretty surprised. Um, I just, it was just a, an auction I did for fun, hoping, you know, to draw traffic. And, uh, it just was neat. So next. And this is the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. I bought this at the Goodwill. So I paid 2 bucks for it, $1.99. And let's see, I listed it. I listed it March 31st. Sold it April 7th. I got $12.99 for it, plus shipping. So I was happy. That worked. That was good enough for me. Next. Those used those those other ones those those new world translations those big ones used to sell for a lot more than that. Oh, I got a big stack of uh, Boy Scout um, neckerchiefs at the at the niche in the five dollar bag sale. So I I listed them I listed them at all all at auction. I started them at all at fourteen ninety five, and I sold the uh, I sold this one. So I paid like 35 cents each for them, basically, something like that. Listed them on March 31st, sold April 7th, and I got 15.50 for this one. It got two bids, and then I got 15 bucks for this one. They were both free shipping, so I shipped them together. The same person bought them, and I think that I think it was the same person. Maybe it wasn't. I thought I sold three of them. Maybe it wasn't the same person, but it was free shipping. So, um, I think it was the same person, and I think he got outbid on one, on the on the one. I think that's what it was. But yeah, so thirty bucks, and and I didn't. I, I'm I'm doing all right on that five dollar bag sale that I went to. So next, and it's another one of those games I bought. This one I got uh, paid for. Listed it on. April 2nd, sold it on April 7th, and I got $8 plus shipping. It's not a lot. It's probably not really worth it. I probably will never do that again unless I get them cheaper. Um, I'll make my money back, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to spend that much money. I, like I said, I can, I can go to five dollar bag sale and make three hundred dollars, or I can spend a bunch of money on video games and and not really get it back so next and then there's these candlesticks which i pick up here and there for you know usually not more than the, not more than a dollar usually typically so but for this this lot basically some of these i already had here and then some of them i picked up at, at uh, goodwill not goodwill uh i picked up at the at the in the five dollar bag sale so i just put them all together so i really truly probably only have maybe a buck or two into these and uh, I listed them sold them at auction I they, they went the first week they got eight 
eight bids. So I think I started in 1995 on them, and they got eight bids and went up to about 32 bucks with free. Sh it had free shipping on it. So I think I used a. I'm not positive. I think I used a. Uh, what do you call it? A regional, a regional rate, rate A to ship them in. So next, and there's. There is, I only have pictures of two of these. They're little toothpicks, shot glasses, votives, whatever you want to call them. Um, then I revised the listing because I found another one, so I had three of them. And then the day this sold, I'd actually found another one, so I had four. So a guy asked me a question about it or something or made an offer or whatever. And I told them, what did I tell them? I forget what it was, but anyway, so I sold them all four of them. I paid three bucks, three bucks for them all together, and I listed. I started the listing back in uh, August last year, August twenty-six. Sold it April seventh. I only got ten dollars from it plus shipping, so. Not not that not that great not that great a deal. They used to sell a lot better than that, but they don't anymore. So uh, it's just one of those things, I guess. That's the fun part about eBay. So okay, next, and this is a sad one. Got one bid, twenty four ninety five, and they never paid, so it was no sale. So that's that. That was my last sale for the week. Altogether, I paid $100, $100.29 cents for the stuff that I sold, and my total sales for the week were $617, minus the two things that either didn't sell or got canceled, and I ended up I ended up with uh, net sales of $583. So, of course, that doesn't include the fees or whatever. So it was 583 bucks. And that was that. So, another video done. Oh, mm. you guys have a great day. And I, I'm not going to take a nap. And it's not, I don't know why I'm yawning, but it's only like noon. It is straight on noon. Now, or is it 12 and 9? 12 and 9. So, yep. So, you guys have a great day. And uh, keep listening. I'm going to keep listening. Things are slow right now. I know. I know. Trust me. I know. But the fall is coming. And. If you get the stuff listed and get it in your store and you get it up, it's going to be there and you'll make some sales then to make up for it. So in the meantime, just keep chugging, just keep going, keep listing and have a great day. Bye.